James Melbourne, a former Finks bikey member, recently left the club after implicating a fellow member in criminal activities. Melbourne, who sports a prominent one percenter tattoo on the side of his head, was in custody due to an alleged home invasion that left him injured. The situation unfolded as Melbourne allegedly disclosed information regarding a fellow member's involvement in standover offences in Wodonga during a police interview. The dispute involved Melbourne, along with Jared Searby and Joshua John Miller. The conflict began when Josh Miller believed two men were selling drugs from a McCrowan Court residence. One of the men thought it was a misunderstanding and met Melbourne and Miller on May 19, 2023 to clear things up. However, Miller threatened him, demanding a name within 24 hours or a $5,000 payment. Miller allegedly said, I'll f***ing cave your head in and shoot your dog right now unless you give me a name. About a week later, on May 31st, Jared Searby wrote to Melbourne telling him to go with Josh to see if they can get any cash or gear from the victims. It's alleged Miller and Melbourne went to the victim's property and demanded money. Miller allegedly said to one of the victims, Bro, we're not f***ing around. We'll come in with bats, cave your head in and take your stuff. One of the victims threatened to call the police and Melbourne allegedly threatened them by saying, If you get the cops involved, trust me, it will be a lot worse. One of the victims withdrew $700 from an ATM at the Birrelly Shopping Centre and gave the cash to Melbourne. Melbourne and Miller then left in CRB's Kia. CRB allegedly threatened in a message, saying that the victims have made a promise that they're going to have to fulfill one way or another, or he's going to put a bullet in the dogs. He also said he was going to send a team of blokes through to empty out their joint. The two victims, fearing for their safety, decided to stay with their friends and family. In the early hours of June 1st, one of the victims returned to their home only to find a white car outside with the front door wide open. To his surprise, he spotted James Melbourne inside the residence, carrying a suitcase to a waiting car. Various items were reported missing, including two drones worth $11,000, $4,500 worth of hard drives, a $4,000 bike, a $500 scooter, four security cameras worth $1,000, a laptop, knives, a Google Hub, and a compound bow. Police arrived at the McCrowan Court home at 6.40 a.m. to speak with Jared Searby. Body camera footage captured Searby wearing a Fink shirt with the words, Silence is a must. Violence is a plus. Searby claimed the occupant owed him money and sent a message to Josh Miller mentioning that the victims had lagged and they needed to identify all those who purchased items from them. Searby allegedly said, We want blood or a location. Later that day, at around 5.12pm, James Melbourne, armed with a hatchet, entered the McCrowan Court home. He held the hatchet to one of the victims' throats, demanding cash, and allegedly threw the man over a refrigerator. In the altercation, the victim struck Melbourne in the head, resulting in a fractured skull. Melbourne left the scene and sought treatment at Wodonga Hospital. Later, he was transferred to the Royal Melbourne Hospital where he was arrested. Four days later, on June 5th at approximately 5.50 a.m., Josh Miller and another individual allegedly attacked the second victim outside of his home using crowbars. The victim sustained injuries to the right side of his face and head, fell to the ground, and was struck multiple times. He handed over around $1,500 and was subjected to further assaults. Police allege that Searby orchestrated these incidents. Furthermore, it is alleged that Searby had contact with Melbourne Finks, sergeant at Arms Browdy Cooper, and discussed cocaine, amphetamine, and money laundering through a Wodonga gym. The police discovered 50 grams of ice at Searby's residence during his arrest on June 9th, which raised suspicions of drug trafficking. Stolen property was reportedly found at Searby's home, which also served as the Fink's clubhouse in a shed in the rear yard. Josh Miller was arrested on the same day, with law enforcement seizing ice, weapons, and stolen property. Additionally, drugs were allegedly found at Dusty Lyon's home, where James Melbourne had been staying on the same day. Melbourne admitted to several unrelated charges in the Wodonga court, including failing to stop during a police pursuit, the theft of a $15,000 motorbike, drug driving, speeding, and other offences. He has a history of drug addiction and still experiences the physical and mental effects of the injuries sustained in the hammer attack, such as memory loss, nerve damage, 
and brain fog. Leaving the motorcycle club resulted in isolation for James Melbourne while on remand at Ravenhall Correctional Centre. Ravenhall Correctional Centre is a medium security male prison currently located in Ravenhall, Victoria. The prison is able to house over 1,300 prisoners and is Victoria's largest prison. A detective of the ECHO Task Force provided evidence during Miller's bail application, noting that Melbourne had implicated Miller during his police interview. There's no telling what will happen to Melbourne when he is released from prison, but he stated that he wants to get outside of the Wodonga area as fast as possible. Let me know your thoughts down below and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more of this type of content.